Okay, so you're not gonna believe this story, but I swear it's true, and I'm gonna prove it to you with this balloon. Eric Woolridge is a system admin at a hospital in Chicago. One day he got a call that an iPhone 8 had randomly crashed. Then he got another call about an iPhone 7, and more and more calls just kept coming in after that. But strangely, no one was having problems with Android devices. So he started asking some questions and found out that a new MRI machine was being set up at the hospital that day. So maybe the MRI machine had let off an electromagnetic pulse, killing these devices. But that would have killed all the devices in the hospital. So what kind of EMP would have killed only Apple hardware? Eric was stumped, so he asked for help on Reddit, where some sysadmins speculated that it might be caused by the liquid helium used to cool the MRI machine. He investigated, and it turns out there was a helium leak that occurred in the building at the same time. But why would this only cause Apple devices to stop working? That's where we come in. At the heart of every electronic device is a clock. The clock is like a digital heartbeat of your computer, sending electrons through the system like the blood in our veins. Without a clock, the CPU just won't work. Most electronics use quartz oscillators, a crystal that vibrates at a regular frequency. But quartz oscillators aren't skinny enough for Apple's newest designs, so they found a clock that was quite a bit smaller, a microelectromechanical chip, or a MEMS chip, made by a little-known company called SciTime. We started to wonder if these SciTime chips might be susceptible to helium, so we started some digging, and sure enough, SciTime says that the seals used on some of their chips could be impacted by large concentrations of small molecule gas. Helium is a small molecule gas, so it sounds like we've got a solid theory. Let's check it out. I'm gonna put this iPhone in a bag, fill it up with helium, and wait to see what happens. And it worked. After four and a half minutes, the phone was completely unresponsive. So now what? Is it dead? Not quite. Apple's user guide for the iPhone and Apple Watch actually admits that exposing your device to helium may cause problems, but if you air it out for about a week after being exposed, it should work just fine. Ours came back to life after a full 24 hours. So it's official, iPhones are allergic to helium. Who knew? For the full story and a more in-depth analysis, check out the link to the blog in our description below. Hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.